Hello, Mighty Joe here. Welcome to another video on how to strengthen your grip. Today I'm going to cover a real important, often neglected area of grip strength. And again, it involves your thumb. And what it is, is these guys, including myself, that are trying to shut big grippers, one of the most important things is your thumb pad area when you initially set the gripper. The thicker and the harder you can have this area of your thumb, the better because when you set the gripper, if this handle slides down, generally ever how much it moves down is how much you'll lack on shutting that gripper. So having a good platform right here, a good strong solid platform is crucial on shutting big grippers. So. I've come up with an exercise to develop just that area. All you need is a gripper. The gripper does not matter. Uh, as long as it has knurling, a carabiner, and a weight peg with some weights on it. Don't really take much weight. And what you do, the carabiner goes on the weight peg, the gripper goes on the carabiner, as such, there you go. Now you'll have an implement that looks like this. And what you do is you place one, one gripper handle right here, just like you set the gripper. And you add weight and you do timed holds. There's no, I mean, you could sit here and do hammer curls or whatever, but timed holds. And adding weight is a good progression to know that you're getting stronger. Your thumb is getting stronger in this area for setting these grippers. It's just a great way to do it. And if you, if you don't want to do each hand individually, you can add a lot more weight. You can do it like this. Just like that. You can really use a lot of weight like this. And it really pumps up your thumb pad. It really gets blood flow going to that area. <clears throat> my philosophy on grip training a lot of it revolves around if you can it's always better on whatever area of grip you're trying to improve upon if you can actually devise a way to use the implement involved it's always better and I'm not saying supplemental exercises are not any good because they are and people have made great progress with them but anytime you can take the actual implement involved in this case the gripper and figure out a way to use it to strengthen that area that's weak or whatever you're trying to improve upon is always better. So I hope you like that tip. And I can't forget, I have really come, become attached to these steel wrist balls. Uh, this is my buddy Scott Latella. There's no better way to begin and end your workout with this thing. This thing weighs nearly two pounds. It's got different modes that you can use to test your speed, total amount of reps, uh, what you can do in 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. I'm just, I, end, I begin and end every workout with one of these wrist balls. I just can't recommend it enough. So, you know, this is probably one of your best investments in grip training. So, with that being said, stay tuned for the next one. I hope this helps you out.